Yes, yeah, switching to cricket now. Regional tournaments have long provided an opportunity for young players to make their mark and pop into the view of West Indies selectors. The likes of Alec Athanes and Kurt McKenzie are two of the most recent test debutants who have impressed at the regional level. And with the Cricket West Indies, CG United Super 50 well underway. A few starlets have continued their emergence in the regional game. One such cricketer who will be looking to make his mark is Kofi James, an old rounder from Antigua and Barbuda, who has had a promising 2023 representing the Leeward Islands Hurricanes in first-class cricket and the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots in this year's CPL. Kofi James joins us on the Sportsmax Zone via Zoom. Kofi, how are you? Good afternoon. Hey. Hello? Can you hear me, Kofi? Yeah, it was the, the call is ticking up a bit just now. <laughs> All right. Can that... you hear me? That's fine, not a problem. Um, before we get into all the current cricket stuff and so on, just give us an idea of the background of a Kofi James. I mean, when did you start this cricket thing? How did you fall in love with this cricket thing? When, where, how? I mean, I think it's, it's probably in my DNA. You know, my dad was a cricketer. Um, my brothers, we played cricket since a very young age. Um, I started playing softball during primary school, you know, I was one of the better players. I pursued it, you know, to the hardball level. And then, you know, the, the love was always there. You know, I guess, you know, when you when you like something and you keep doing it and you see a future with it, you know, you just have to keep working hard. And that's why I did. I keep working hard. I got some success. So I'm here now. When you say that you, you played softball, are you talking about tennis ball cricket? Yeah, tennis ball cricket. <laughs> and the rubber. You have the rubbery ball too. You have the rubber one and the tennis ball. Is that the one that you have to make? No, the kitty cricket. You know the kitty cricket balls? Okay. The red ones that swings a lot. I know those. Where I'm from, um, there were some balls that we would have to make and it would include um, heat, in some cases fire and plastic and a whole lot of other things. But that's a completely different story. Can, can you pinpoint a period or a match, an occasion where you said to yourself, yeah, may, maybe I have the potential to go all the way in this sport of cricket? I mean... Um... I've always saw myself as a professional cricketer, to be honest. That's what, that's my, that was always my passion. So I, I really can't remember when, but you know, it, it's, since I started to play, that's all I wanted to do was play cricket. So I really can't recall. Okay, well that's fine. All you know is you have a love for the game and that's what yeah. matters. Well, you played in the recently concluded CPL for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. How was that experience for you? I mean, it's a, it was a wild, crazy, fun experience. I know we see it on TV all the time and see the vibe, but actually being a part of CPL, you know, it's, it's, it's totally different. You have to be in it to feel how I'm feeling, you know, to see the crowd, to see people represent, like coming out to show their support to you. You know, even though I didn't play a lot of games, I still felt the support so vastly. You know, it, I just feel loved. So, you know, it was a great experience and, you know, I'm looking forward for another experience like that. Yeah, looking forward to see you, of course, representing for whichever CPL yeah. franchise um, you're selected to play for. Now, talk to me about the Leewards. Y'all are flying very, very high. Yeah, you know, we, we're doing well. We're doing very well, and I think we have a very good team, strong our own team, and look out for more greater performances. Yeah, Kofi, can you, you're listed as an all-rounder. Do you consider yourself a, a, a batting all-rounder or a bowling all-rounder or just straight, genuine all-rounder? I would consider myself a genuine all-rounder. Mm. Yeah, genuine all-rounder. Um, your personal preference, though, do I, I, I gather that you enjoy batting because I, I remember seeing a report in the cool and smooth T20 tournament in Antigua back in, I think it was April, where you had a 64 ball, 124 playing for your club, Liberty Blackhawk. So it just seemed as if you were enjoying yourself with a bat. So looking on, it appears to me that you love batting. I mean, I love cricket. I love cricket. 
But you know, at most of, most of my. Mm, we've lost him there. Yeah, I think his audio his his audio just went. Let's hope we can get. Yeah, continue. I think we're hearing you now, Kofi. Yeah. So yeah, most of most of my 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 cricket life, yes. I've always been an all rounder. Yeah. I started off as an open batsman that bowl, and then my bowling got better than my batting. So I I bowl, and then my batting was better for a bit. And you know, it's just a bit of back and forth. One time, you know, you're bowling and batting well, so it's always a mixture, you know. So I would consider myself as as a genuine all rounder. Yeah, I love you, both. I love yeah, both. Yeah. Can you talk to us quickly, Kofi, about the domestic game in Antigua and Barbuda? Because a lot of the problems in West Indies cricket at the moment is is seen as the domestic games not being as strong as they need to be. I just referenced your local club, Liver the Blackhawks, who are a, a top team in Antigua's domestic cricket. How satisfied are you with the quality of the domestic game in Antigua and Barbuda? And talk to us quickly about your club, Liberta. Um, I think that it, it can be better. You know, growing up, it was very exciting. Like, the quality was there. Each team had like four fast bowlers, proper spinners, batting from one to probably eight. You know, growing up, you always saw the quality. And the numbers, the quantity was far greater. You had a lot more people actually playing cricket. Now I find that the, the quantity has dropped, the quality has dropped, and, you know, we just need to find ways to get the love back to the game from the development stage, you know, get, get some on the 13s, on the 9s, whatever the case may be, to get the, the love back so we can have more, more youngsters playing the game of cricket. Because that's the base, that's the grassroots that will feed into uh, the, the development of West Indies cricket. Um, can you talk briefly about your, your, your celebrations? Because uh, you, you, you seem to get very, very excited when you, you, get, you get a wicket bowling. I mean, I have, I have, a, I have a, quite a few celebrations, but there's one. I didn't give it a name, but, you know, people call it the slingshot. It was actually... A celebration that one of my teammates, me and Kadim Philip, used to do a lot back home in, in Antigua. It was actually it's actually a train sir. But you know, people say it's a slingshot, so I'm just going with the flow. But I like the celebration. You know, I haven't done it for the tournament yet because you know, you might see something new this time. <laughs> well well we'll be watching we'll be watching Kofi. Um you you have um some pretty good stats in red ball cricket as well, having played some first-class cricket. And uh, your white ball stats are, are pretty solid as well. Do you have a, a preference at this moment as a 25-year-old that is blossoming in the game? I really, I don't have a preference. I love all formats of the game. And, you know, I, I think as an all-rounder also, it's good to, to love all formats because... Either one can be useful in either format, so I like our formats. You had a hundred against the Windwards back in April, or 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 March, I think it was against the Windwards against a pretty decent bowling attack that included Preston McSween and um, Sherman Lewis. Um, any recollections about that innings and how good it felt for you? I mean, it felt, it felt really good. Um, I watched the innings like a hundred times by now, just to, you know, <laughs> relive the moment, see what, you know, just to relive the good days. You know, so whenever I feel like I need to watch over video, I normally go back to that video. Cause it was a good feeling. I, th I think I batted well. Um, I played decent shots. I felt really comfortable. So going back to that video, and I can always, relive the moment and, you know, add something that from that video into my game that I'm missing currently. Yeah, your local club, Liberty Blackhawks, that's the club that Kenny Benjamin is, is, is heading up, isn't it? Yeah. How, how much influence, and Rakim Cornwall plays for Liberty as well? Yep. yep. Yeah, um, how, how much influence would uh, Kenny Benjamin have? Because I know it's a, a, a sports club because they do play in the Antigua Premier League football competition as well. And um, yes. is Kenny Benjamin the president of the club overall? Obviously, because of yes. his cricket background, he would take a lot of interest in the cricket. But 
Um, how do you feel about the club, you know, as a, as a sporting giant in Antigua and Barbuda? Um, definitely the best club in the world, hands down. <laughs> in the world? You no, know, that, that, that's not even a question. You can check the stats. You can check the stats later on and you will see why I say so. Oh. But you know, he, the, he has a big influence on the sports club as a president, not only on cricket, but also football. And the influence of Rakim Carmel, as you mentioned, is, is very vital for the Liberator Blackhawks. You know, teaching, giving knowledge. And not just Rakim Carmel, Hayden Walsh Jr., you know, Kari McGuire, these guys play international cricket. So, uh, Will and Cornwall played first class level. So, a lot of international cricketers, regional cricketers, a lot of brains to pick at Liberty Blackhawks. So, you know, you'll find the youngsters have people they can rely on to help them, not just in the physical aspect of the game, but the mental. Yeah, and what are your targets in, in the game? Because you seem to be ambitious and you have shown quality enough that as a 25 year old, you could develop into a more successful player than you are at the moment? Your targets? Um, definitely, I would like to play at the highest level, representing West Indies. Um, I would like to go to the IPL. Definitely the IPL, probably Big Bash, and different leagues around the world. You know, um, I just want to enjoy cricket, have a decent career, make a living out of it, and just, just have fun, you know? That's what I like to do, that's what I love, that's my passion, that's my life. And if I can do what I do and make money from what I love, can't ask for any better. Yeah, and, and finally, Kofi, we have discussed for years now the decline of West Indies cricket. And um, if, if we look at the history of West Indies cricket, when, when the Leeward Islands were strong, West Indies cricket was, was pretty strong. Viv Richards, Richard Richardson, Kurt Lee Ambrose, uh, Andy Roberts and, 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 and those players. As, as a Leeward Islands player, that, that isn't considered the Leeward Islands as consistently a top team, but you have had periods where they have been, they have been strong, the Leeward Islands. And of course, Antigua and Barbuda um, propels a lot of the Leeward Islands' success. How do you feel about the Leeward Islands' place in West Indies cricket and what your, your group of islands has to offer for West Indies cricket? I mean, I think every, every nation, every country has a part to play in the uplifting of the, the cricket in the, the Caribbean. Um, Leeward Island in specific, I mean, as you say, as long as you do good from the different message come right up, you know, you will add to West Indies cricket. And I feel Leeward Island cricket has a lot to add. We have a lot of talent. We have a lot of talented fast bowlers, batsmen, spinners, so... We have a lot that we can add to West Indies cricket. So it just, it depends on us. You know, it's just up to us to do what we have to do, put in the necessary work, you know, depend, you know, to, so we can have that representation at the highest level so we can help West Indies cricket propel further than we are at, at the moment. Okay, Kofi, well said. Great talking to you here on the Sportsmax Zone. We look forward to having Thanks. some more conversations with you. And we are wishing the Leewards, Hurricanes, all the best in the Super 50. You've had a good sure. start. And uh, we wish you and your team all the best. And tell the rest of your teammates hi from the Sports Mac Zone. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Okay. Thanks for all the listening. All right. Kofi James, Moran, yeah. and uh, Ricardo. You know, I Good love... chat there with the young man. Yeah. yeah, and you know I love chatty people. He seems very level-headed. He knows what he's about, um, despite being young. And I'm happy to see him do well. Yeah, the first thing that struck me about him is yeah. clearly his love for cricket. Yes. And he kept speaking to that throughout the course of the interview. Um, you were asking him whether he prefers to bat or bowl. You were asking him whether he prefers test cricket or limited overs cricket. And uh, the answer was always, I love cricket. And that is something I think we don't hear from a lot of our cricketers yeah. um, across the region. I love the game and it is very clear, very obvious to me that that young man loves the sport of cricket and because of that, especially because of that, I really want to wish him all the best and hope um, that he goes really far. Yeah, you know what, I, 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 I liked what I saw from him just on the reports that I read about him because I saw and read things about his performances before I actually saw him play. and. Uh, Every time you read a report from him, I think what you just said, Ricardo, came out. 
You just saw where the reports based on his innings and his bowling performances, you just got the feeling that this is a player that loves cricket, yeah. just wants to play and he enjoys his game. Usual when he bats, he bats at runner ball pace or faster than runner ball pace. So he loves to hit the ball and score quickly. So a good sign there for Kofi James. Really great having the 25 year old on the Sports Night Zone today. And we wish him all the best with the Leeward Hurricanes in the Super 50. We have more coming up on the Sports Night Zone after the break. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment. <laughs> 